hello, bienvenue, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. I thought it was about time that I did a bit of a personal update because I haven't done one in a really long time and a lot of things have happened since the last time I just sat down and talked to you guys. I mean, for one, I have moved, finally. It was stressful to say the least. I mean, I was pretty much packing up 12 years of my life into a truck and that's just ridiculous, honestly, because I threw out so many things. Like, I didn't even realize there were so many things that I didn't need. Like, so much stuff was given away and donated and thrown out if it wasn't really worth much. Oh my gosh, it was absolutely insane. And I've downsized. So even the stuff that I've brought with me, some of the stuff I still need to get rid of because I just don't have room for it. But the move went pretty well. I mean, it was a really, really long day. Uh, and the animals are doing okay. Timpani, who if you don't know, is my 13-year-old cat, um, was not doing very well before the move. She had been sick. She was not eating, uh, and she had lost a lot of weight, which in hindsight is kind of okay because she was really, really overweight and she kept trying to sneak the puppy's food, so she was just getting bigger and bigger, and then she stopped eating, so she lost a bit, and she would only eat wet food. So if I gave her wet food, she ate that, and she stayed out of the dog's food. So she is now at a decent size. So when we moved, she was even more stressed out, and she wouldn't leave the walk-in closet for, I don't know, six days? Something like that. Like, it was like a week and a half or something ridiculous. Like, she would not leave the walk-in closet. Like, that's where I have stuck her litter box, and that's where just where she lived for a while. And she wouldn't leave her carrier for at least the first three days. Like, three days she lived in that carrier. She kind of peeked her head out to eat something and maybe like scampered over to the litter box, but she literally did not leave her carrier for three days. And Tycho, Tycho was interesting because Tycho is a very independent dog. She's a great Pyrenees. She's bred to work on a farm, to be independent, to roam off on her own, and to scare off predators. That's her job. So she doesn't really stick with me all of the time unless she's working because she is a support dog so when she's working she does she comes and sits with me and looks after me she's always checking up on me and stuff like that but when we moved she slept on top of me for about a week like literally a week she slept on top of me and she's not a small dog and Prior to that, she was not a bed dog at all. Like, she is, as I said, very independent. She would sleep on the floor, by the door, on the couch, anywhere but the bed. But all of a sudden, I had this 70-pound dog sleeping right on top of me. But both animals are doing fine now. Tiffany is running around the house and exploring. I even got her cat tree finally set up in the back, so... She has some place to hang out sometimes that's out of reach of the dog, and Taiko is off doing her own thing most of the time now. So, life is pretty good. But I have to be honest, I'm not a person who deals with stress well. I mean, I don't think anybody deals with stress well, but I, I, I got, I was forgetting to take my medication, and I just wasn't eating properly, and I wasn't sleeping, and things weren't all that great for a little while, but now that I've moved, and I, I've basically moved from one part of the Vancouver area to another part of the Vancouver area, and I'm so much happier here. I'm so much happier here. I'm, I can walk into the downtown, I can walk to everything. Like, I, I don't drive, I don't have a license, I don't have a car, so walking and transit are the ways that I just, I get around. 
I have no other choice. But everything in here is greener and I'm right up against the mountains so like there's so much scenery. One thing I do have to watch out for though is bears. There are bears in this area because I'm right at the base of the mountain. Even the garbage cans here. I'm actually really annoyed with this area because they don't have enough garbage cans. When I'm walking Tycho and I have to throw out her crap, it takes me forever to find a garbage can because there just isn't garbage cans. And if you do have a garbage can, it has to be bear proof. Which is fine, I just wish there were more of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hi, Timpani. Bye, Timpani. But yeah, things are getting pretty good. I've got my office set up, I've got my desk set up, and I built a PC! I built a PC! I finally, finally got around to building a PC, so I'm going to be able to stream now, I'm going to be able to uh, record and edit so much faster, because before I was using this little tiny laptop that honestly took half an hour just to boot up, and as you can imagine, trying to edit anything was just absolutely insane, because either it would freeze or the images would start looking like rather than actually playing smoothly. So I'm going to be able to game with people, I'm going to be able to do more live streams and talk to people and hopefully, hopefully everything will just be a lot better and a lot smoother now. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's the update with everything with me. I'm doing better mentally. I'm, I don't know. I'm a lot more excited for life right now. So I think, I think my move was really a good thing and I'm super excited to see where I go and what I do now. And I hope you all are doing absolutely amazing now that things are starting to wind down and people are getting back to a regular life. I hope you all are doing really, really well. So I'll see you guys later.